now, and how about this for a little thing I like to call offense. Four of the NFL's top six scoring teams are in action this weekend, and nobody, nobody, but Pinto Ron would have predicted the Bills would average more points than the Chiefs, but here we are, and here we have yeah. Josh Allen saying nothing changes for his unit on Sunday. He said, quote, this is a big one, to win the game, you've got to score more than them. That's right, baby. Thank you, Josh. Oh, Coach that's... Mangini. Yeah. AFC champion yeah. multiple times over. Good morning. Good to see you. Let's ask you, what offensive approach gives the Bills the best chance to pull off the upset of upsets over the Chiefs and thus upset Nick? <laughs> well, with that, that sage wisdom for, from Josh Allen, but, but what he means is that obviously as explosive as they are, you've got to figure out a way to, to try to match their points. But that can be a, a very dangerous uh, approach. And I've been in situations like that where you're playing teams that, that have scored record number of points. I remember the, the greatest show on turf in the Super Bowl, our first Super Bowl. Um, you know, we could have easily gone into that and said we're going to chase points. But we didn't. And, and these games unfold in, in strange ways. And oftentimes when you're chasing points, you take chances that you know may or may not work out and then you give these explosive offenses extra opportunities with the ball and you also put pressure on on the offense to do things that that uh can be a little bit out of character so i don't think that's the way they want to want to go and, and they realize that or i'm sure brian dayball realizes that the most important thing they can do is is try to try to slow things down for josh to try to make it as comfortable as possible for him oh. especially early KC's going to pressure. There's going to be multiple looks in the way that they pressure and, and incorporating some screens. Like Nick agrees. The running game, quarterback-driven runs, easy completions, maybe vary the running game so it's it's some uh, uh, wide receiver sweeps, things like that. Maybe incorporate a little bit of what looks like hurry up but really isn't hurry up. You give that impression, but you're really using the whole clock. Got to push those guys and, and make Kansas City feel – uncomfortable off balance and don't chase their offense because then you can make mistakes and 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 you don't want to be in that spot coach 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 i don't know if you've been watching sports television the last few months but this this whole question is is being asked backwards jenna's acting like there's the bills are some massive underdog they're three-point underdogs you're acting like the bills have to be worried about the chiefs offense no 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 don't uh, aren't you aware Josh Allen's the MVP candidate, not Patrick Mahomes. Stephon Diggs is the best wide receiver in the AFC, not Tyree Kill. He is good. Cole Beasley is the, is the great <laughs> slot option, not Travis Kelsey. The Bills have the best offensive line, not the Chiefs. The Bills have the most dynamic offense. I, Wiles has been telling me they won 12 in a row. If you remove the loss, it's a fun thing. You remove the loss and they've never lost a game. So no, 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 no. Buffalo, sling it, baby. And by the way, in defense of that strategy, this whole let's slow the Chiefs down, that's been everyone's strategy for three years. One team has successfully done it. The Colts midway through last year when Mahomes was hurt and Tyree Kill didn't play. Mahomes has only lost nine times since Texas Tech. Show those losses if we could quickly. They all have something in common except for the Colts loss. You know how you beat them? Go score 35. People aren't beating this team 21-14. So listen, Josh, you're the MVP. You're the best young quarterback. You have the best offense. You have the most dynamic offensive coordinator. Forget Biennemi and Reed. It's all Dayball and McDermott. Forget Mahomes and Hill. It's Allen and Diggs. So Brandon, this is their chance. Beat them the way the Rams did 54-51 because that's the path. And guess what, Bills? You've got the guy to do it. You've got the league MVP, I was told. So go to Arrowhead and go score 40 because <laughs> that's what you're going to have to do. <laughs> Nick, Patrick, I love you guys, but y'all losing this week, buddy. I'm telling you. And Boom. Josh Allen basically yeah. said it, and I don't, I don't know if I agree with it, but he basically said to win the game, we got to stay the same. What does that mean? Coach, 10 personnel. You're going to see four wide receivers on the field, one running back. That's what they do. Cole Beasley, he runs the same route over and over and over again. He's in a slot, and he's running option routes. 
Stephon Diggs, he has the entire route tree open to him. We need Gabriel Wilson. We need Brown on the other side to come up and make big plays. Coach, I'm concerned. I am a little concerned. Brian Dayball, you, you fell in love with Coach Dayball in New England. You hired him as your OC in Cleveland. He ran the ball one time. It was one call run play last week. Are you not concerned that he just leaned so heavy on what they do well? Well, f first of all, I'm concerned about, about Nick's sense of, of woe is me that he's got going because <laughs> his Kansas City Chiefs aren't being respected enough and Patrick Mahomes <laughs> isn't being respected enough. Nobody believes that in must us. Be so, yeah. must be so hard it's true. for you to deal with that. Nick. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Here's what here's what I'll yeah. say about about Brian is Brian understands complimentary complimentary football. Brian understands doing whatever you need to do in a game to win that game. And there's a lot of offensive coordinators that are going to do what they they do because it may help them get their next job. It may help them in, increase their profile. It may be what the 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 players are are um, are, are clamoring for for if you have a star player. But Brian's about complimentary football. He's gonna he's gonna incorporate a plan that works for the defense and special teams, and and he learns he learns from from mistakes that he's made. I can't imagine that that he would run the ball um, anywhere near as as few times as as he did last time. If anything, it, it's gonna be a change of pace. It's gonna be making Josh Allen as comfortable as possible going into the early part of the game. Yeah, well, coach. I, I hate to drag you into this, and if we can put everybody on screen, I have to air out some dirty laundry uh, of of something weird that's going on with our researcher, Dusty. And I like Dusty, and I thought he did a good job for, like, most of the year. But I think, guys, he's really fallen off because he, he's been making a ton of mistakes. He said there's four teams left. Uh, the top four scoring offenses are in this order, Green Bay, Buffalo, Tampa, and then Kansas City. So hold on, they have the yeah, worst offense right. of everyone playing this weekend? That's not right. Yeah. What are we doing with this? No. Why is he still on the staff? He said no, that, the, that the, the, the Kansas City Chiefs only scored 22 points against the Browns. Dusty, uh, <laughs> what, they only scored yeah. 17 points against yeah. the Falcons. These are just errors that yeah, Dusty can't make. Right. And then he said no. they scored 22 Gotta points be. against the Broncos. No. I'm like, Dusty... Katanic, we Poor have to Dusty. do something about this guy because this has got to be fake information <laughs> because they score 50 well, points well, a game wild. and they're unstoppable. It's Wilds, I'll address all that. First of all, you only had one semi-factor there. I guess you're talking about the Broncos game, the second one, because the first one I think they scored is 40 yeah, something. One. We can check. They played twice. Yeah, okay. no, the most, um, the more the, recent the Falcons one. game that you keep, Dusty. the Falcons <laughs> game that you keep hanging your hat on is when the Chiefs already had the one seed locked up. In the Browns game, they lost their quarterback to injury early in the third quarter. But I agree with you, which is why we are we talking about getting Aaron Rodgers into a rhythm, making sure he's comfortable? No because he's awesome. So Josh Allen, you're the MVP. That's what I've been told. The odds say you are the second most likely to win MVP behind <laughs> only Aaron Rodgers. Mahomes is the, best I can tell, the worst quarterback remaining. You have Rodgers, the MVP, Allen, the second MVP, the GOAT, Brady, and Mahomes with that crummy offense. I mean, they've oh, they, they're 25 and one his last 26 starts, but does that really count? So no, the it's Chiefs okay, need Nick. to worry about keeping up with the Bills. It's definitely true, and that Sundays. could be the Bills' approach. I agree with you, Wilds. Right. It's smart. You don't sound ridiculous at all. We are. We are.